Hi, I'm Edward Tom, Product Manager at Yaskawa America. At Yaskawa, we're a motion control company. We've been doing it for over 100 years and we specialize on drives, servos, and robotics. When it comes to building automation, you'll find our products on pumps, fans, chillers, compressors, anything that you need to move a motor and move something. When it comes to BACnet, all of our HVAC ready drives have BACnet embedded inside of there. So we're ready to, to connect into your network anytime right out of the box. Yaskawa has been a member with BACnet International for quite some time. During this time, we've been able to take advantage of the marketing opportunities that they offer. One is presenting at AHR Expo. I've had the opportunity to do that for quite a number of times, and it's been a wonderful experience. Other things we do is also participate in PlugFest to help make sure that our products work with a lot of other products very well and right out of the box. But I think the biggest advantage that we've had being part of Backnet International is the community. The people that are part of that, all the member companies are looking to do one thing, and that's to promote Bagnet and get that out there, grow it, make it a lot easier for people to, to use the product and integrate onto that network. So with Bagnet, I've been watching it evolve for many years, for as long as I've been part of Bagnet International. I've seen it go from having Bagnet MSTP, which used RS-45, to being Ethernet-based with Bagnet IP. But now, with the Internet of Things, and some, call it, and some would say the building Internet of Things, we've been watching it evolve more and becoming more onto a larger network. So security is also becoming a, a larger issue and a larger concern. So when it comes to that, BACnet's evolving and having BACnet SC. So many things that they keep, consider, uh, they keep doing to help grow it and also help evolve with the changing landscape to keep us as a viable protocol going forward and for a long time. So if you're ever looking to create a BACnet device or even expand what you're offering when it comes to BACnet, if you're not part of BACnet International, I highly recommend joining. The community, the people that are there are more than willing to help you out. There's also the BACnet Institute. The BACnet Institute has a large amount of information that you can use and just draw out of there to help you learn more. So if you're looking to creating a new product or if you're looking at expanding, definitely look, at, look towards BACnet International. Mm -hmm.